Good morning, movers, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness, or welcome here if you've just found us. I'm glad that you did. All right, today's workout is an advanced killer compound series. Now, compound exercises are multi-muscle, multi-joint, a lot going on at once. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that, but I am gonna put a little preview at the top of the screen so you can check that out during the rest. Now, format, 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition, grab different weights and see what you're doing. We are gonna hit each exercise three rounds so you can really focus on building lean muscle and lift as heavy as you can. Also, don't forget that we do have our monthly membership program. You can check the card at the top of the screen if you wanna join us for nutrition, coaching, wellness, all of that is included. All right, let's do this and move daily. I just wanted to say thank you to Kim, one of my Patreon members and longtime friends who suggested this workout. If you have an Apple Watch, I'm set mine to strength training today. All right, let's take it wide. We're just gonna move side to side, warm up the inner thighs a little bit here. Again, lots of lower upper combinations here. So make sure that you do take a quick peek in between so you can see what's coming up and get that form right. I am gonna give you three rounds though. Two, make sure that you do. Bring the feet slightly closer. I'm gonna put my hands on my feet, stand and squat. You've got eight right here. Warming up those hammies. If you can't, hold your hands on your feet. Let them slide up your shins, that's okay. There's five, we've got three more. Oh, that burns, doesn't it? Oh, one more right here. And round up through the back. Let's roll those shoulders back. Uh, get those um, shoulders up by your ears. Switch directions here. Let's take that right into a big shoulder circle here. Oh, oh yeah. Tap it out. Start to get the heart rate up a bit. Switch directions here. All right, can we go into a squat roundhouse? Just up and over, opening up into the groin there. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. Let's go five more right here. Swing that leg around. Let's get that hip open. Last one here. Good, one in front, one behind. I'm gonna get your little Lunge legs warmed up here a little bit with 10, because we are starting with a few of those. Good, five more on this side. A little tippy this morning, switch sides. You forget that, like your body's not quite warmed up yet. the benefit of three rounds when you don't get it round one you're all tipping all over the place at least by round three you should get some of the workout in nice okay hands on your shoulders and twist I want to give a caveat here just so you know that I know okay um, so these pants I really like them they're from Fatletics. but I was filming something the other day where my legs were wide open like this take a and go, and I'm like, why is it so dark right in the crotch? Don't look now, I know you're going to, but <laughs> just don't. Five more here. Anyway, they have a huge purple spot of fabric right in the crotch so that from a distance it might look like you had your period or something. <laughs> what? Circles one more time. Really bad placement. Anyway, I had to say it because I'm like, what if they think <laughs> I'm leaking. I'm not. It's the fabric. No, I'm sorry. Some of you are going to be like, shut up, lady. Who cares? Actually, someone said, please stop talking about your underwear. <laughs> I don't remember talking about that, but maybe I did. Hey, it's who I am. It's my channel. <laughs> don't look there. All right. Grab your weights. Let's do it. All right. We're starting with a deadlift into a front lunge. I'm going to grab my 15s, hop hard right out of the hop here. Deadlift first, alternating front lunge, knees are soft. So you 
stick your chest out. Here we go. So reach your hips back, alternating front. Push through the heels, come back up. Good. my same 15s so get ready to head low all right on your back you're gonna do three pulses in a chest press and then push it up hips are up in bridge both hands up pulse three times on the left side here you go one two three press up switch sides and press one two three and push one two, three. So this weight has to be heavy enough for it to feel like work here. So if you just grab the 15s and you're like, well, I can do 20s, you'll switch next round. Hips are up, push them up, come on, squeeze those glutes. Stay down here for the next exercise, that blast off, push up. All right, good. So you can do this on the floor. I'm gonna actually use my dumbbells to do my plank on. I'm gonna blast off oblique. Come up and push up. Push up from the knees to modify. Here we go. Reach it back and twist, up and push up. Switch sides, twist and push up. need. Kick it up. Deadlift first. <clears throat> Alternating front. Pop up into plank. 
crunch back and low. Here we go, low, up, and a push up. Switch sides, low, up, and push up. on one side. You're going to start with a squat. Just watch and figure this out here. So, you're going to squat here, up and over. Squat here and press. Squat, up and over. Squat, single side press. Low, up and over. Low, single side press. I'm using eights and because of that overhead action, that feels like enough weight. Squat, up and over, squat, single side press. It's hard to hold it up, isn't it? All right, moving to a step up, side lunge. If you don't have a box or bench, feel free to do a squat sequence. There's 
the demo right there. Okay, so we're gonna step up with the right. Step up, high knee, step down and lunge. Step up, front raise, step down and lunge. One more on this side. All right, switch sides. shoulder press and a hammer curl.
shoulder width. Here we go. Squat overhead. Squat and press. harder than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be able to do 15s easy. <laughs> nope. Step up, front raise. Side lunge here. Biceps feeling this right now. Whew. Keep it going. 15 more seconds here. Then a little break if you need. And we'll switch the circuit. In three, two, and one. All right. Take that break and we'll be back. Okay, we've got a big leg circuit here for you. I'm gonna start holding just eights here. We're gonna do a tiptoe squat. So one toe's on the tip, the other one's firmly planted into a single side reverse lunge. I'll call halfway, then we'll switch. So tiptoe, squat here, take it back, reverse. Tiptoe, squat, back, reverse. Tiptoe, squat. Whoa, a lot of tension on that stationary leg. We've got to feel that, hey? One more on this side. All right, switch your sides. Now the leg is firm. Tiptoe here. Squat here. I feel a lot of quad in that too. Oh, single leg deadlift to front lunge. You'll stay on the same side. I'll call it halfway. You can also plant your foot for the deadlift, okay, instead of reaching it back. Here we go. So, deadlift here, stand, front lunge, tap. Deadlift, stand, front lunge, tap. Last one on this side. Definitely lifting heavier next time. Switch sides. All right, good morning squat. I'm gonna go with my 15s here. Off of my shoulders, 
Feet are wider than shoulder width, I'm hinging at the waist and then taking it into a sumo squat. Tight core, so hinge here, stand and squat. Hinge here, I'll show you a side view. Tummy tight, reach your hips up. If that hurts your back, just give me the squat. We don't want any injuries here. Great glute activation on that guy. Like you require that lower back stability and strength. All right, Woo. round two. I'll use my 15s for the last ones. I'm gonna go a little lighter on the tiptoe squat. All right, you're ready. And squat here, reverse here. Ouch, it was my knee that hit the floor. <laughs> tiptoe low. I'm not even going fast, I'm just staying in that low iso hold. Burning out hammy, glute, and quad. All right, switch sides. on here. You do whatever works for you. Same side. Hinge here. Front here. Tap. sides. Really tighten your abs if you're lifting heavier. Using that glute to propel you back up. <clears throat> Good morning squat. Whew. Heart rate's up now 150. That's better wider than shoulder width, tight core. Inch here, stand and squat. Okay. Deadlift, front lunge. 
very knee is soft. And hinge, here we go. I love how fluid this one is. Switch legs. another circuit for you. All right, starting with wood choppers. I'm officially dripping sweat. How about you guys? <laughs> this is good so far. Take it wider than shoulder width. We're going to squat and chop. <laughs> yes, here we go. And low here, reach and twist. Control this, okay? Don't just fling your body. Lift that weight. I'll call halfway. But I want to see a full squat there. Nice and low. One more on this side. And switch sides here. Low and pop. Let's do a Russian twist, 
leg drop. So I'm gonna hold my five. Be up in that V sit. We're gonna drop the leg, twist on one side. I'll call half. So you twist and drop, twist and drop. Modify this here just with your twist. No leg drop. Just using a five here. All right, switch legs and sides and drop. have one. It's 15 is challenging, that's for sure. Okay, your lunge high knee, lateral front combo. Back and lateral, high knee in front. Starting to feel shaky. Let's work 
Right, okay. Squat low, tight core. If I was watching you right now, make sure that you're not pushing your hips forward and arching your back here. Pop up tall. Last one here. Switch sides. Extend that reach by pushing my knee away and just stretch out that glute. Can I just talk to you today about um, creating a lifestyle of healthy living, okay? So many people, and I can't, you know that I run into a million because this is my industry, switch legs, and this is what I hear, but so many people like try to make those shifts and changes. They do so sometimes in extreme ways. So they'll go on a very restrictive diet or a diet that they can't sustain forever. Like I had a client this morning just tell me about a friend. Let's straighten that leg hamstring stretch. A friend of his who um, lost, you know, 50 pounds on keto 
And then he's like, then he gained it all back within six months because he stopped doing it. And now he's going back on it again. I'm like, of course he is because it was quick weight loss. But the way that he did it, obviously he couldn't sustain because he went off it and back to carbs. So I said, the whole process really has to be, switch legs here, is that you want to make a shift in your lifestyle forever and ever, amen. This is why I always use that phrase, people like us do things like this. People like us are people who want healthy lives forever. Not just for a season, reach back here, push your hips forward. Not just for the wedding, not just for your 40th or your 60th or for your trip or your cruise or your grad. No, this is who we are forever and ever. And so the changes that we make, the decisions that we make, the food that we eat, the lifestyle that we keep, the time we go to bed, you know, everything reflects that. D does that make sense? Like you've got to get on the page where you're saying, this is who I am now. This is what I do. I live my life so that I can live the healthiest possible so that I can have the best quality of life. So I can be internally and externally healthy so that I can feel good in my skin so I can have energy so that I can you know do the things in life that I really want to do because I know I'm healthy and I know that I'm making all those choices to get there and it's 80% of the time it's not like any one of us are perfect in that well there might be some I'm certainly not I don't claim to be but the lion's share of the time the majority of my life I'm thinking about and consciously living in a way that says okay what am I going to do today that's going to lead me down the road to better health? And, and if I've made choices that haven't led me there, then how, how do I just instantly do a quick reset? Not the next month, not the next year, not in 2021. Like I do it the next meal. And, and that's my hope for you guys too, is that you really get to a place around through the back here where you go, you know what? That is, I am those people. People like us do things like this. We move daily, we think consciously about our fitness, our wellness, and our nutrition, and we make choices that reflect that. Because not only will you have a healthier life, the people around you will benefit from a better you. So, go move daily in your fitness, your wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see ya in the next workout.